This is a car that has a lot of attention. It's the first ever luxury SUV from the brand Genesis, the GV80. Scotty and our colleague Abigail Bassett were amongst the first in the world to get a look at this SUV. Here is what they discovered. The best kept secret in the auto business in the last five years might have been Genesis. This luxury brand from Korean automaker Hyundai has loaded its sedans with over-the-top luxury, cutting-edge technology, and competitive pricing so that insiders know that this is a really great car. It's been a great secret until now. The cat's out of the bag now that Genesis has introduced the GV80 SUV. The GV80 continues the new design language of Genesis that we first saw in the G80. And that's marked by this wide diamond cut grille and quad lights that actually wrap around the frame of the car on both the front and the back. Buyers of the GV80 have a choice between two different engine specs. There is a 2.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine with 300 horsepower, or there's the larger 3.5 liter V6 with 375 horsepower. And if you wonder if a Korean car maker can really build a world-class SUV, well, the answer is yes. And that's because the designers and the engineers of this car have a really great collection of luxury car DNA. They came from Audi, BMW, Volkswagen, and Bentley to build this car. Buyers of the four-cylinder turbo can choose between rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. The V6 is only available in all-wheel drive, though the system is rear-wheel biased. The all-wheel drive system only kicks in when it's needed. Between the rear-wheel drive bias and sport mode, the V6 GV80 has that hug-the-road feel. With 375 horsepower, it takes hills and curves nicely, and it has the sporty drive feel that you expect in a European sport SUV. That's because the GV80 was tuned more for on-road performance than off-road capability. The four-cylinder turbo is not shy by any means though. Drivers will have confidence merging onto the highway and passing slower traffic. So I'm here with my friend, Abby Bassett, also an automotive journalist. We've just gone for a ride in the GV80. And what do you think about the GV80, Abby? So I'm incredibly impressed with this car. It's the first SUV from Genesis and it has knocked it out of the park. I think they've offered so much for such a good price, but it's gonna be really hard to beat. What's your thought on the design in this car? So I really like the sort of presence that it has on the road from the outside. It, it just looks good. I had a lot of people turn their heads as I was driving it. Um, I think the design language that they're starting to develop from Genesis is really making it stand out in the market. And it's carried on throughout the, the vehicle inside. So you get the same kind of width of expression and the same kind of like openness, the spaciousness inside, which is really, really nice. Um, they've done a really good job of taking this diamond grill pattern and repeating it in ways that are really nice and subtle and, and good looking on the interior. Thanks for spending time with me, Abby. Thank you so much, Scotty. Another design detail that um, is very unique is this floating center console. And you have an armrest here covered in leather, of course. You have your drive and infotainment controls, drive mode. And then you have this really beautiful climate control system. This is actually a flat glass panel with haptic uh, controls. So you can actually slide to increase the fan or you can slide to decrease it. And you feel it sort of rumble when you touch the glass. These are your temperature control setting here. And then you also have media hot buttons here. So media, radio, navigation, map. You have those buttons at your fingertip if you really want to get to something quickly and don't have the time or patience to use the dial controller. Rear seat passengers have a lot of space and a lot of amenities. So you have two USB ports and a household outlet right here. You have climate control here. One of the really cool features in the Genesis are these buttons here that allow you to push the seat forward or move it back however you would like. And you can also move the back so you can make yourself comfortable as a rear seat passenger. But check this out. This is something most luxury SUVs don't have and that is center row reclining seats. 
to open the GV80, most car manufacturers put their uh, opening button here. The GV80 puts it right there. The rear cargo area of the GV80 is ample. There's a ton of space for anything that you need to put in it. If you choose the mid-level trim in the 3.5 V6, you also have the option of a third row that operates with the press of a button. If you don't choose the third row, there's plenty of cargo area. There's also storage underneath the cargo floor. And underneath here, there's room for a spare tire. Follow us on Twitter at World Car Awards or on Instagram or Facebook.